Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be trying Riri's Super Bowl hairstyle on my naturally curly hair. This is my hair freshly washed and deep conditioned. I section it out into two braids to make sure that it doesn't tangle up. First things first, I need to make sure that I get the two bang pieces in the front and I'm just gonna part my hair down the middle and then section off two parts in this little triangle. Go ahead and put that up and get started on the rest of my hair. Natural hair is a sport. I don't care what anybody says. And if you have curly hair, then you know this. It takes a lot for me to get my hair actually up in a sleek ponytail. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be working in sections and really taking my time to make sure everything is detangled. I used Kinky Curly's leave-in conditioner for this portion and the Inner Sense leave-in. I mean, you can see the struggle here. I don't put any styling products in other than leave-in during this process because it just kind of makes my hair dry and I need my hair to stay wet. First ponytail and then I'm gonna go back in and detangle the pony. Once that's detangled, then I'm gonna go ahead and slick it back again. I told you this is a complete process. And I'm using a boar bristle brush during that portion to really make sure all of the stray hairs are slicked down. Whew, we made it. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in and braid a section of this to wrap around the ponytail. Take a bobby pin, secure it, and then I'm gonna section my pony into two other sections. And I'm definitely gonna part that out of the way to make sure that um, none of the hairs end up over there. And I use Kinky Curly's Curling Custard. And I'm just gonna braid this down and pull out little pieces, like every three braid downs. Just pull it out like that, as you can see in this close-up. And then I'm gonna repeat the same steps on this side. And then I'm gonna go through and make sure to use a little bit more of that curling custard and some of this braiding gel to really slick everything down and make sure there's no stray hairs. I use a little fine tooth comb for this portion too. It just really makes sure there's no bumps. Here I'm laying my edges. And all of that's done, and now I can get started in the front for the bangs. I accidentally created a bantu knot, so it's a little crazy. And I'm just gonna brush that through. And the front of my hair at the root never fully curls all the way, like not puffy. So I just braid this into two little braids halfway down to make sure that it's really sleek and there's no puffiness and it like lays comfortably. And then I'm gonna give it a little time and unravel. And look at that, look how it lays, so cute. And any little like stray hairs, I'm just going over with braiding gel. And that is the final look. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would love to hear it. And thank you for watching. See you in the next one.